This is StormTrack 12. It's crazy to think about the fact that just two nights ago, many of us were still below zero as we got farther into our Friday night. And now that we're into the Sunday night, temperatures have yet to drop below 40 in some locations. Quite the switch. 41 degrees right now. Pretty breezy. South southwest wind at 10 miles an hour. And that's what's been continually bringing in that warmer weather as we've gone throughout this weekend. Again, we're in the 40s here in Binghamton, Apple Lake and Green. Owego, though, 37. Conklin and Windsor at 38 degrees. And all of us are actually going to settle somewhere in those upper 30s here tonight. But that's still very warm compared to what we've, again, had lately. None of the dew points really showing up here, but we've had more moisture continually being added to the atmosphere as well as those dew points have risen up into the 30s. And right now, visibility still about 10 miles pretty much everywhere except Elmira. We could see areas of patchy fog developing as we go throughout the night tonight because of those warmer temperatures and all the snow melt that we saw throughout the day today. Now here's a week, a weak system right along the North Carolina coast. Also one going through northern New England and right in between these two systems. We had a little bit of a dry slot. That's why we saw clouds clear out so nicely as we went throughout the day today and we had all that sunshine around to warm us up. There's some rain showers off to our north, but those will stay up there. We're just going to have a partly cloudy night as we continue forward here. Very quiet, very warm as we go into the start of this new week. Again, we're going to see some foggy areas because of that snow melt. It's going to be a bit warmer as we go throughout our Monday, getting closer to 50 degrees tomorrow. And then we're going to have some light rain arriving Monday night into Tuesday morning. We'll cool down behind that rain briefly Tuesday and Wednesday before warming back up again. Thursday and Friday, but at least for the time being again, those clouds and light rain showers staying to the north will have a very quiet overnight and quiet start to the day on Monday. It'll start fairly clear out there, but clouds will slowly build in the farther in the day that we go as that cold front starts to approach again late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. That's when we'll see the line of rain with that cold front pass through again, fairly light overall, but we'll have that rain out there wrapping up by the time we get into Tuesday morning. And then after that, things will cool down and clear out the rest of Tuesday. Again, those temperatures staying warm tonight, mainly in the middle to upper 30s. We warm into the 40s very quickly in the morning hours tomorrow to near 50 by the middle of the afternoon and temperatures will stay warm with that rain around overnight Monday into Tuesday. But then behind that cold front on Tuesday, we'll get back down into those 30s and 20s. But for the rest of your night tonight, we're not even going to get into the into the 20s, 35 degrees areas of fog around there. We'll warm up to near 50 degrees tomorrow under a partly cloudy sky there. And again, staying warm through most of the week, rain around Thursday and Friday, and then the cool down does come back next weekend. But boy, 50s, it doesn't feel like February. <laughs> Not at all. 50 degrees, no way. <laughs> no complaints. Thanks, Damon. Now it's time for a check on sports. Jacob Seuss joins us now.